Hi everyone, Heather Paris here. I wanted to talk to you about a book that I read almost 20 years ago now called Kids Are Worth It by Barbara Coloroso. It is one of the most awesome books that I've read and I still to this day refer to it and love it. And I wanted to give you a basic overview of the book itself. Barbara in the book talks about three different parenting types, the brick wall, the jellyfish, and the backbone. The brick wall is the rigid or unyielding parent who has strict rules and is highly conditional. They expect obedience and order and cleanliness and they punish, humiliate, threaten, and they often ignore feelings and the child's needs aren't usually acknowledged. They do things for the kids rather than letting the kids do them themselves and learn through trial and error. Then there's the jellyfish parent. This parent is loose and has little rules, no follow through, unknown or not applied consequences. They're chaotic. They have chaotic emotions. They use put downs, humiliations, no structure. They use threats and bribes and then they just give up. They're usually oblivious to the kids needs and the kids turn out to be easily influenced by their peers. They allow their kids to have lower standards. And then there's the backbone parent. The backbone parent practices unconditional love and caring. They acknowledge the kids' needs. They let them know that they're important. They smile, they hug, they use humor, motivation, you can do it, lots of stuff like that, encouragement. So they have simple and clear rules and natural consequences when when they're able. And when they're not able to use natural consequences, they have reasonable consequences. They encourage self-awareness and personal growth and mastery. They allow kids to master skills. Now, the jellyfish parent sometimes seems like a brick wall because when things get really out of control, the, the jellyfish will, re, will resort to rigidity. But when that doesn't work, they'll just give up. The brick wall parent doesn't allow kids to think. They teach them to respond rather than to actually think or to do things on their own. And this, this type of parent really stifles creativity in children. Now, obviously, we all want to strive to be the backbone parent, which allows kids the freedom to be creative and expressive, yet within boundaries that we set to keep them safe. So think about what type of parent you are, what type of type of parent your your spouse is. This applies to biological children as well as stepchildren. Now, the, recently I've heard a lot of people saying that their significant other, the bio parent, is a jellyfish. They're very loose with the rules because they feel guilty about the divorce or they feel bad about breaking up the family, so to speak, or whatever. And they're really being very loose with rules. And the only thing that that does is creates kids that don't respect boundaries, kids that go out and get in trouble and kids that don't self-advocate and they don't have um, clear uh, clear idea of consequences or any kind of structure. They, they can become very disrespectful. So those of you who have talked to me about the, the jellyfish parent, I would encourage you to get the book, Kids Are Worth It by Barbara Coloroso, and share it with your significant other and look at these things. You know, sometimes when they just find out what they're doing, they can break that pattern and, and do some new things. So awareness is always the key to making changes. It's the first step in making change. So become aware, share this information with your partner or your spouse, and hopefully it will have a very big impact on your life as much as it did on mine. Um, again, I've been parenting based on these simple, simple concepts for nearly 20 years now. And I'm very happy to say that they do work. I've applied them with my own children. I apply them with the disadvantaged youth that I work with on a daily basis. And um, kids really do need structure and they really do need boundaries and they crave it. They won't admit it, but they really do. They really do thrive when they have the, the proper amount of structure. So check out the book. Let me know how you like it. Let me know what you think of these concepts and let me know if you need any help because I am here for you. So have a great week, everyone, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.